हेलो वेलकम टू 2016 फिजियोथेरापिस्ट पीएससी एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर डिस्कशन लेट्स मूव टू अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेम द इंटरकैप्सुलर लिगामेंट ऑफ द नी जॉइंट ऑप्शन ए टीपीएल कोलैटरल लिगामेंट ऑप्शन बी एंटीरियर क्रूशिएट लिगामेंट ऑप्शन सी फिपुलर कोलैटरल लिगामेंट ऑप्शन डी लिगामेंटम पेटेले एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एंटीरियर क्रूशिएट लिगामेंट मूविंग टू अवर सेकंड क्वेश्चन Intercalated disc is present in option A smooth muscle option B skeletal muscle option C cardiac muscle option D none of the above and the answer is option C cardiac muscle moving to our third question foramen transmerium is present in option A cervical vertebra option B thoracic vertebra option C lumbar vertebra option D sacral vertebra and the answer is Option A cervical vertebra Moving to our fourth question which of the following is not a muscle of the forearm option A pronator quadratus option B brachioradialis option C supinator option D bicep brachii and the answer is option D bicep brachii Moving to our fifth question name the organ supplied by coronary artery Option A heart option B lungs option C liver option D spleen and the answer is option A heart moving to our sixth question vitamin K dependent clotting factor option A second option B third option C fourth option D fifth and the answer is option a second moving to our seventh question maximum number of sodium channels per meter of membrane is myelinated mammalian neurons is seen in option a cell body option b initial segment option c nodes of tenvir option d axon terminals and the answer is option c node of tenvir moving to our eighth question site where the water absorption is maximum option a duodenum option b jejunum option c ileum option d colon and the answer is option b jejunum moving to our ninth question all are the factors increasing venous return except option a increased blood volume option b increased venous tone option c increased muscular activity option d increased intrapericardial pressure and the answer is option d increased pericardial pressure moving to our 10th question sensation carried through dorsal column pathway option a crude touch option b pain option c temperature option d vibration and the answer is option d vibration moving to our 11th question posterior inrosion nerve palsy causes difficulty in option a extension of the fingers and the wrist option b flexion of the fingers and the wrist option c flexion of the elbow option d extension of the elbow and the answer is option a extension of the fingers and the wrist moving to our 12th question axillary nerve injury occurs when there is an injury to option a surgical neck of the humerus option b spiral groove of the humerus option c lower end of the humerus option d none of the above and the answer is option b spiral groove of the humerus moving to our 13th question In the WHO definition 1980 a disadvantage for a given individual that limits or prevent the fulfillment of a role that is normal for that individual is option A impairment option B disability option C handicap option D participation and the answer is option C handicap moving to our 14th question All of the following are instrumental activities of daily living except 
ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി മീൽ പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഫീഡിങ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഷോപ്പിംഗ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ബാങ്കിങ് ആൻഡ് ദ ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഫീഡിങ് മൂവിംഗ് ടു അവർ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എമങ് ദ ഫോളോയിങ് ദ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ അപ്പർ മോട്ടോ ന്യൂറോൺ വീക്ക്നെസ് ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഫ്ലാസിഡ് വീക്ക്നെസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് മസിൽ അട്രോഫി ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഹൈപ്പർ റിഫ്ലെക്സിയ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഫിസിക്കലേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഹൈപ്പർ റിഫ്ലെക്സിയ മൂവിംഗ് ടു അവർ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അസസ്മെൻറ്റ് ബൈ ഗ്ലാസ്മോ കോമോ സ്കെയിൽ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ ഐ ഓപ്പണിംഗ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി വേർബൽ റെസ്പോൺസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി മോട്ടോർ റെസ്പോൺസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഫോൾ ഓഫ് ദ എബൗ ആൻഡ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദ എബൗ മൂവിംഗ് ടു അവർ സെവൻറ്റീൻത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വിച്ച് ഓഫ് ദ ഫോളോയിങ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് എ പ്രിമിറ്റീവ് റിഫ്ലെക്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ സക്കിംഗ് റിഫ്ലെക്സ് Option B, Rooting Reflex. Option C, Grasp Reflex. Option D, Blinking Reflex. And the answer is... Option D, Blinking Reflex. Moving to our 18th question. Godiometer is an instrument to measure the... Option A, Range of Motion of the Joint. Option B, Strength of the Joint. Option C, Inability of the Joint. Option D, None of the Above. And the answer is... Option A range of motion of the joint moving to our 19th question which of the following is absent in hips palsy option A adducted shoulder option B externally rotated shoulder option C extended elbow option D flexed wrist and the answer is option B externally rotated shoulder moving to our 20th question In a classic club foot, the deformity seen is Option A. Hind foot equinus Fore foot and hind foot varus Fore foot attraction Option B. Hind foot equinus Fore foot and hind foot in varus Fore foot in abduction Option C. Hind foot in equinus Fore foot and hind foot in valcus Fore foot in attraction Option D. Hind foot in equinus Fore foot and hind foot in valcus for 14 abduction and the answer is option a hind foot in equinus for foot and hind foot in varus for 14 abduction moving to our 21st question the transfer of thermal energy between two bodies in direct contact is called option a conversion option b radiation option c conduction option d all of the above and the answer is Option C conduction moving to our 22nd question osteochondritis of the epiphysis of the femoral head is known as option A kin box disease option B pers disease option C calf disease option D panner's disease and the answer is option B pers disease moving to our 23rd question regarding waltzman ischemia 1 Waltzmann ischemia is a result of decreased blood supply to the flexor muscle of the forearm 2 the muscles supplied by the anterior interosseous artery are the most susceptible to ischemic damage as it is an end artery option a only the statement 1 is correct option b only the statement 2 is correct option c both statement are correct 2 is correct explanation of the one option d both statements are correct but 2 is not the correct explanation of the first and the answer is option c both statements are correct two is correct explanation of the first moving to our 24th question gunstock deformity is a complication of supracondylar fracture of the humerus it is a option a cubitus varus deformity option b cubitus valgus deformity option c fixed flexion deformity of the elbow option d none of the above and the answer is option a cubitus varus deformity moving to our 25th question following are the features of the autonomic dysreflexia except option a pounding headache option b hypotension option c facial flushing option d reflex bradycardia and the answer is 
option b hypotension so that's all for today if you need clarification for any of the question do comment in the comment box i'll be back with part 2 of this series soon so do subscribe to this channel for those videos thank you